If you've watched a lot of Hollywood movies or TV shows like Game of Thrones, it's easy to get the impression that, deep down, human beings are just savages. And below the surface, there's a Nazi, a monster, or an animal in all of us. This is called veneer theory. The notion that our civilization is only a thin veneer, and that as soon as something happens, a crisis, a war, a natural disaster, we reveal our true selves and start engaging in violence and cruelty. It turns out, however, that this is fundamentally wrong. If you look at the psychology of violence, we find it quite difficult. The history of warfare reveals that soldiers often don't fire their guns at all. In a fascinating study done by a combat historian, Colonel S.L.A. Marshall, during World War II, he discovered that only 15 to 25 percent of soldiers actually managed to fire their guns. Marshall's findings may have been controversial, but later researchers found more evidence that indeed average soldiers who have just been drafted often can't pull the trigger. There are ways to overcome this aversion to violence, the most prominent of which is through greater distance. It's easier to use an artillery device to push a button and kill people from far away. But if people come too close, we often can't do it. Most bayonets have never been used. And when soldiers do manage to kill, when they somehow overcome their tendency against violence, they're often traumatized by it. So even though we are capable of the most horrible things as a species, and we can be one of the cruelest species in the whole animal kingdom, this suggests to me that it's not what we're born to do.